This is a uh, ICP mini split. I don't know if you can see it from the branches, but um, it's got a bad power supply board, which is this right here. And we just got the parts in. And it's pretty cool because it comes with a whole new cabinet when you order the board, capacitors, everything. So, uh, when that board goes bad, get a whole new one. So, you pop it in here and uh, should be back up and running. Alright, new board's in. And, uh, it's up and running. I'm gonna put the top back on so it didn't go off on high pressure, but, uh, yeah, cool in down the house in no time. Alright, it's a uh, 15 year old Danitrol unit I'm recovering right now. I'm about to change the uh, reversing valve, which is bad, so almost, almost recovered, so here shortly I'll be unsweating this thing and popping the new one in there. Thought we were going to be able to put this 15 year old unit out of its misery and get a new one, but they want to change the valve because they're selling the property, so I'm going to spend as little money as possible. So we're going to change the valve for them. Alright, as you can see, older version valve is out keep forgetting my tripod. I wanted to film this while I was doing it, but uh, yeah, it's hard to hold the camera and unsweat a reversing valve, so I'll get the new one in place and we'll get it brazed in. Alright, new valves in place, all wrapped up. Got a little bit of uh, nitrogen running through, keep those pipes nice and clean. And uh, and yeah, here shortly you'll see the finished product. Alright, new valves in. Not too bad. I think I got some pretty decent brazen skills. Maybe not as good as some of y'all, but no leaks is good brazen skills as far as I'm concerned. So, pressure testing it right now, and uh, we'll be throwing her on a vacuum here shortly. Alright, system's off a of vacuum, just weighing in the charge. Need uh, 4 pounds, 5 ounces, so, got a little ways to go, but uh, so far so good. Can get this dinosaur back up and running. Alright, Danitrol is back up and running. Uh, just gonna double check the Freon charge even though it's a package unit so I weighed it in. Just let it run for a little while make sure nothing changes and uh, we'll be on to the next one. One more thing I wanted to show, uh, you gotta love the clearance on that side of the condenser coil. I'm guessing it's got two inches, something like that. Yeah, could have kicked it off the wall just a little bit, but um, man, we didn't install it. It's been here for 15 years like that, so what can you do?